Aaron, what does 50 mean to you? Just, just another, just another number. You know, wish we could have came up, came away with a win, um, but it's just another number. Aaron Boone said it's kind of tough to wrap your head, wrap his head around the fact that you're at that number and we're not even through August yet. How do you process that? What you've been doing this? Season? Well, for me, it just goes back to you know the team we got here. You know, we got a good good group of guys in here that continue to show up every single day, putting the work in, and you know I'm just trying to do my part and you know and, you know be a part of this team and do what we need to do to you know put ourselves in a good position. You know, going to the postseason, so. You know, when you're showing up to work every single day, you know, you know, with a plan and a mission to go out here and win the game, you know, you, should, you don't get caught up in, you know, individual, you know, numbers, good or bad. Is that why historically in baseball, the number 50 has meant something, but you don't seem to, uh, you know, look at it that way? Oh, it, it, it's great, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of upset about the loss. You know, it was a close game that we could have won. You know, we had a couple opportunities, but, um, um, no, we'll, we'll talk about how it feels once the season's over with. How aggravating you're losing to, to the Angels in Oakland, teams that are not doing all that well. You've been, you know, surprised uh, what's, what's happened these last few days? Every, every team in the major leagues is a good team, you know, and you know, they, any team can beat you on any given night. You know, if you don't show up, you know, ready to go from the very first pitch, you know, you know, teams, good teams, they're going to get you, you know, so it's just about us, you know, making sure we're coming out in the first inning, the first at bat, the first pitch you see, you know, locked in and ready to go. So we, you know, they got us tonight, but, you know, we still got two more, so we'll get it done. There's a video on uh, social media from when you were working on the offseason and you say, I'm going to hit 50 again this year. And whoever you're working with saying, I know you are. Do you, do you remember that? And, I mean, you say you don't talk about numbers, but is that, in your mind, was that just a number to say, okay, I'm going to be back who I was, uh, healthy, and what I was, what I did when I worked a year ago? Man, that video is a couple years old, so I don't, I don't, I was a little late on that one. I missed it. I missed it. Whatever year that was, it might have been 19. So, uh, um, but like I said, I, I, I try not to think about it. Off season, you can dream. You have, you know, you write down goals. You know, stuff you want to accomplish during the year. But then once the season starts and you're out here competing, it's about, you know, trying to trying to lock down as many wins as you can. Have you attributed your success to this year? Well, like I said, when you got a team like we do and the guys surrounded around, you know, around me. You know, it makes my job easy. You know, try to get up there and get a good pitch to hit. And if I don't, you know, get on base for the guy behind me. And, you know, when you have a whole lineup doing that day in and day out, you know, good things are going to happen like they have all year for us. Your late inning home run certainly sparked, your late inning homer sparked the crowd. It sparked your team. Did you think maybe a comeback was on its way here? Oh, always, you know, especially with our team, you know, we're just a couple swings away, a couple, you know, base hit, you know, we even saw the first run we scored a little bunt, you know, first and third with, you know, DJ is one of our you know, best hitters, you know, so we're never out of any game, you know, even if it was two runs, three runs, you know, even five runs, I don't, I don't feel like we're ever out of, you know, any game, you know, especially late like that. Aaron, where's the 50 home run ball going to be? Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to save it? You know, I haven't even got there yet. We'll yeah. see. We'll it'll find a spot. What will you think about that ball and 50? What does it mean to you? I'll we be, know that the result doesn't matter, but just later on when you're looking at that ball. I'll be thinking about a 4-3 loss that we had in Anaheim. <laughs> that's that's what I'll be thinking about. You know, could, wish it could have been a little a little sweeter with a victory. But uh, yeah, you got to you gotta give me some time. Once the season's over with, then we'll ask me that question again. So let me try one answer. more time with a full stadium and people booing because you're getting the Barry Bonds treatment. What is that like? They want to see at bats. Yeah, you, you try not to think about it because it's, it's a team game. And, you know, I got, you know, one of the hottest hitters behind me in Benintendi, you know. So, um, you know, it, it's a game. And you know, I got walked and, you know, I'll take a walk every at bat if it means, you know, having a guy first and second with Benintendi coming up behind me. Does it change your approach at all, Aaron, the fact that you, you only get pitched to maybe once or twice a game. Does that mentally make it harder to focus or easier to focus? How does that work? Uh, easier because I know I, I got to lock it in from the very first pitch I see because that might be the best pitch I see. And, um, you know, it's fun. You, know, it's, you, you like having that, I wouldn't say pressure, but that just expectations. You know, that's, that's what it's about, you know, trying to, you know, lead your team and, you know, help them win. And it could be on the first pitch or it could be, you know, a third pitch you see in the seventh, eighth inning. You never know. Do you downplay 50 because you know in this game 60, 70 is possible? 
You know, I, I'm not downplaying it. I, I just don't like talking. I don't, I don't like talking numbers. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything because we lost. You know, so it. You know, we can we can talk about numbers and all that kind of stuff when the season's over with, and we can review it. But for right now, you know, most important thing for me is you know, getting some wins. Aaron, this, this, you are on a pace over 60. It is a talk of baseball, and only two other Yankees have done it: Babe Ruth and Roger Maris. That, are you? I know you follow the history of the team a little bit. But what do those two names mean to you? And if somehow you end up with them, what, what would that mean? Just being associated with those two guys. It'd be an honor, like I, like I said, every single day. It would be, you know, an incredible honor to be mentioned with those guys. But I, I can't speak on anything if it hasn't happened yet. You know, I, um, I, I got no answer for you. It's, it hasn't happened yet. But you know, if it does, then, then I'll have a better, better answer for you. Did, uh, did you get the ball back? Did they get it back to you? Yeah, I think it either bounced and landed in one of the bullpens, so they were able to grab it, which was pretty cool.